prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Now, somebody says, well, I thought the Bible said that you're to beat your swords into plowshares. It does, but not yet. It says that when the kingdom is established on the earth, when Christ is ruling, get rid of your swords. But until then, you better keep your ammunition dry. And you better be prepared. And I don't buy this that we are to get rid of guns today. And I think we need to protect our homes and protect our loved ones and protect our nation. You and I are living in a big, bad world where there are a lot of wild animals that are loose today. They're human beings. They're two-legged, but they're mean. They're ferocious. They'll destroy you today. And there are nations that are like that. In fact, that's the way God describes nations. Calls one a lion, another a bear, another a panther, and another a nondescript beast. Believe me, friends, the nations of the world are like wild beasts. And we need to keep a few atomic bombs today. I don't buy all this peace move just by saying peace, peace. Because Paul said the day they're going to say peace, peace, then that's the day sudden destruction will come upon us. And I think we're going to have our teeth jarred out one of these days by the falling of a bomb and we won't be able to retaliate because we have too many soft-hearted and soft-headed leaders today. Now, blame me for talking politics. And they've got that on the United Nations today. The passage in Isaiah, beat your swords into plowshares. I think they ought to put this verse up there. Beat your plowshares into swords. Be prepared. You're in a bad, bad world.